We can just take our path, we can put this to whatever Git directory we have on our system, we can start a coding session and we can now start talking to Cloud Code directly here from Archon. So it's really cool, you can just send your message here and you can literally send it off into the background and wait for it to come back with a PR for you. Hello guys, it's been a while, so today I'm back with a new video and today I'm going to be talking about the new agent client protocol that's recently come out by Zed Industries. I think they also collaborated with, with Google. This is a new protocol amongst all the other ones like MCP and agent to agent, right? But now we have agent to client. What this really aims to do is allow any coding agent to speak with any client. So think a bit like your VS code should now be able to invoke Cloud Code, Gemini CLI, Open Code, Cursor Agents, Windsurf's Cascade. So it doesn't matter which IDE you use, you can use any agent in your favorite IDE. This is not limited to IDEs either. It can be used by any client really that adopts this protocol. And that's also what I'm going to be talking to you about today. So I have a really cool demo to show you of an implementation of this in Archon. So yeah, really excited about that. So stay tuned and let's dive right in. So what does ACP aim to do here? So you can think of ACP as SEDS and Google's attempt of trying to make it much easier to communicate between clients and agents. So, you know, we have a growing ecosystem of agents and a growing ecosystem of clients. Like everyone is building their own VS code fork just to be able to build their coding agent, which is really not a way forward. Like I, for one, do not want to swap IDE every week. I want to use said, I want to be able to use whichever agent that I want in said. So I'm really happy that said is the one who takes this forward. I've been using said on and off for about a year. Uh, it's been my main editor for uh, the last six months or so. And I've been beta testing in their AI agent as well quite early on. And their own AI agent is also quite powerful, but I have been using mainly cloud code through the terminal with said, which has been very, very good for me. But what this now will allow us to do is it will allow us to use any coding agent that adopts this protocol through any code editor that we want. So let's use said as an example here. If said is our code editor, we will be able to invoke Cloud Code, we will be in able to invoke Gemini CLI, and we would also be able to invoke said's own agent directly from the said editor. So we are not locked in to using said's agent just because we're using said's ID, which is quite amazing. So we can all go back to using VS Code and we don't have to use uh, Cursor's ID, but we can still use Cursor's agent. So this is uh, will unlock some really powerful things here, I think, in the future. It works quite similar to MCP. It's also very easy to integrate with MCP because you can communicate like your agent can communicate to MCP servers through MCP as well. So it seamlessly works together with MCP. It's very easy to integrate. I've been playing around with it and it works very, very easily. It also uh, is not limited to IDEs here. You can think your client can be anything that can invoke these agents. The demo that I have made is actually using Archon, which is our context layer for any AI agent. So it fits perfectly together with ACP because it will allow us to invoke any coding agent directly from Archon. And this was a long-term vision we had for Archon already when we started. We want to build the context layer so that Archon can be the manager that holds the context for the AI agents and also can manage your project while your AI agents go, goes off and work. And what this now will allow us to do is to first curate our context inside of Archon. We can attach that context to the correct agent that we want to invoke in Archon. And then we can also invoke that agent directly from Archon. We don't even have to open our ID if we don't want to. Then when the agent is done with his work, it will come back to us with a PR and we can build whatever PR and review workflows also directly into Archon using existing agents. So we don't have to build our own coding agent. We can just use the existing ecosystem of really powerful coding agents that already exist. And we can just plug them in with ACP directly into Archon and allow all of you guys to just use it directly out of the box. And it's gonna be very, very cool. So yeah, let's dive into some of the ways here that you can actually use ACP today. 
So let's take a look how we can use ACP today in Zed. So Zed has already implemented this into their main editor here. So we have Zed open, we have our ACP client project open as well. Here you can see the agent panel that you have in Zed. This is not new, this has been here for a long time. This is you know, using Zed's own agent. But what we can do here, we can simply go in to configure our agent. And you can see here that we have external agents and we already have Gemini CLI and we have Cloud Code already in this project here. So we can just start a new thread and we can just say something like, please create a new Python file that prints hello world. Yeah, something very simple, but we can see here through this, just using the slash command, you can see that this is using cloud code, right? So we have the init and we have some of the main slash commands. It doesn't have all of them, but it has the core ones here. And you can see that it printed for us here, uh, our hello world. So the next thing we can do, since we have already built our client in Rust that uses the same ACP principles as this solution here on the side uses, so we can run our agent in the terminal. So it's basically wrapping cloud code in another terminal. So we have the same thing here where we now are talking directly to cloud code in this custom CLI here. So I can just say something like, hello, we'll see some errors because I haven't implemented the slash commands yet. So uh, we, we get this error right now, which is fine. It doesn't really affect functionality, but you can see here that it tells me, hello, how can I help you with your Rust ACP client today? We can just say here, please change hello.py to say hello from CLI, something simple. So what it will go off and do, it will go off and it will start working on this task here that we gave it. So you can see that it, we get some stats here of what it's doing and we can see that it changed the file. So this is working, fully working with cloud code under the hood. Let's move on to the next one. So now I'll show you the next way here that we can interact with our ACP backend. We have Archon open. So for those of you who don't know what Archon is, here is our GitHub. It's created by Cole Medin. I've been working on this day and night for the last few weeks, even I think over a month now. We have a lot of users already. I highly recommend you check this out. It's aimed to be the operating system for AI coding, meaning that it will help you gather context for your coding agent and help your coding agent get that context through RAG, through project management and through other techniques as well in the future. So a lot of exciting stuff happening with Archon in the next few weeks and months. We're really excited about this. We are working very hard on this and yeah, it's open source. So if you want to contribute as well, if you have ideas how we can make Archon better, you're more than welcome to contribute. We also have PRP set up here, we have slash command set up here. So it's a good resource for you if you just want to learn about how we use coding agents in Archon to develop Archon as well. So it's both a learning project, but it's also a really powerful platform for coding agents and for you to work together with coding agents. This is also agent agnostic and will work with any of your coding agents through MCP. You have your project management, you have your knowledge base, your agent will use MCP RAG tools to search through the documentation here. That's not what we're doing today, but yeah, definitely check that out. I'll put a link down in the description. This is a very powerful tool that will allow your AI agent to get the right context at the right time as you're working on task. But what we're talking about now is this new tab here that we have called coding agents. Here we can send our coding agent to work on a specific directory. So here I have my ACP backend and I can start a coding session. So this here right now is cloud code working directly in Archon and we can send cloud code off to do a task for us. So we can say something simple here, something like create three new files that all prints hello from Archon. I want one file in Rust one in Go and one Python. So we can just do that and we can send that off and it will go off and work and it will let us know when it's done. So there is no observability here right now. This is just a POC. 
but it is working, it is connected to Archon, it is running locally with Docker, with the Rust backend. We can see here, once it's done, it should be creating files into this project. You can see it's already been creating a couple of files here. It has only the Python file to go. And we can see that it prints hello from Archon in Go, it prints it in Python, and it prints it in Rust. So it went on to do the work here for us in our project, which is really cool. You can imagine how powerful this can be. Like we can select our Git project that we want it to go work in. We can attach the project board that we want it to work on. We can attach the context we, we need it to have when it does this task, so we can point it to specific context in our knowledge base. And we can also here choose whichever agent we want. So imagine here that we can select Cloud Code, we can select Gemini CLI, we can select Open Code, Quen Coder, Cascade, the Cursor Agent, you name it. Like we can select whichever agent we want to that has adopted agent client protocol. And that is what will make it so powerful. We only have to implement it once and we can connect to any agent that adopts this. It's gonna be very, very easy for us as a client provider to allow our users to be able to use any of these coding agents. And there is so many use cases that opens up for this. You don't have to build super complicated solutions specific for each coding agent. If you have a tool like Archon where you wanna invoke coding agents, but you don't need to necessarily build your own coding agent. And that is what we're doing here. Archon is not the coding agent. Archon is a context platform that will have a context agent that will help you to gather context for coding agents. But then to be able to invoke these coding agents directly from Archon is really what is going to unlock some really powerful use cases and really powerful workflows directly from a very familiar interface. You can use your web interface and you don't really have to open your IDE, especially for the like simpler tasks that you needed to go off and fix a bug or something. You can just send it out to do its work, it will come back to you with a PR and you can just review the PR when it comes back and you can either approve or not, so it's up to you. It will allow you to do a lot of things in parallel. Think of it as Google Jewels or OpenAI Codex cloud platform, but locally, and you can select any agent provider that you want. You're not locked into any of those providers. I can just see so many use cases where this will be super powerful. So I'm really excited about this protocol and I really, really hope that we see all of the major agent providers adopt this because it's gonna be very cool when they do. So yeah, I'm very excited for this. Expect to see more of this in Archon. This coding agent, I'm working on it right now. It's gonna be out soon. Give me a few weeks and, and this will be running directly in Archon. So I have one more really exciting announcement for you guys here. Together with Colmedin, we have developed a four hour workshop solely dedicated to teaching you how to become more efficient and more effective using AI coding agents. Not only with Archon, not only with PRP, but in general. How do you work with coding agents? What is the mental model you should use? How do you get accuracy out of these tools? And how do you do that to increase your coding workflow? It says here 10, like 10x, but think 100x and more and beyond. It's really exponential when you get into it and when you really unlock the mental model of how you work with these coding assistants. So if you wanna get in, reserve your spot, it's going to be on September 27th. So yeah, in just a couple of weeks, this workshop is gonna be happening. I'm gonna put a link in the description, sign up and let's learn how to work with coding agents. I hope I'll see you there.